and welcome to the Crafty Beggar's Kitchen. Now this month we're going to be making a piece of Fiskar's Family History Wall Art. I'm glad I've got all that out there, Jules. <laughs> Can you please take over? I will indeed. <laughs> we are going to do some wall art. I've called this, this is one I made earlier, and I've called this a Mother's Day memory board. But in actual fact, it can be a Father's Day memory board, a Grandma's memory board, whatever you like. It's just a great way of using up, you know, all your family photographs or whatever photographs you like. Today, Wendy, we're going to do the Crafty Beggars family. Yay! Um, and a lovely way also to use up old bits of wrapping that you've got, or you can use new bits of wrapping, wallpaper samples, nice. great way to use those, all your embellishments, doilies, whatever you like. Um, it's really, really good for that. And just to have a bit of creative fun. Yeah, it's and almost use... getting into collage -y. It is, it is. Good, and yeah. and what, I, what I've done is, um, is made photocopies of all your photographs so you don't have to do originals. Okay. And you can, of course, you know, name people underneath mm. if you wanted to. I haven't, but you can say daughter Kate, whatever. Yeah, that's lovely. Really, the world is your oyster. But the okay. first thing uh, that you have to do is buy um, a board like this, buy um, um, piece of canvas. a piece of canvas, really? exactly. Yeah. Mm. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a tea bag, a used tea bag, I and you're going to... why you'd left those yes. there. You're going to age your canvas, okay? And um, because it just looks better. It works really well if you're going to do photo, photos in sepia or black and white. Ah, yes. That's when it really yes. comes into its own, but it's still nice to do anyway. So they I'm cold. going to. Oh yeah. Yes, they are. Oh, actually, before I do that, Wendy, mm -hmm. I think first things um, first, uh, most important. What Fiskars tool we're going to be using for this make? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> it is this. To give it its proper title, it's a shortcut paper trimmer. Now the salient points um, uh, are that it cuts up to five sheets of 80 gram paper at once that is really important to know yeah. and the other important thing to know is it does up to a4 in portrait format and a3 in landscape format yeah. the other important thing for you to know because i've got a um, a big paper trimmer in my office and it's a blooming ugly thing isn't this pretty it's very pretty it's very light very light and therefore it's very portable yes um and yeah and it really works wonderfully well it's yeah. sharp it's accurate it's ingenious but mm. let's get on to that later when yes. i actually cut the photos we will we'll get back to mm. my tea bag moment i'm going to rub this over like that oh my um, god preferably um not <laughs> spilling the tea leaves but don't worry we can actually, do that later it sort of doesn't matter does it's it? sort of yeah i mean it's just and um, just sort of do it like that Spread it out you, it's, as rough as you like. So actually, yes, you want you want it to look mottled, and you, in fact, it's no good if it's really going to end up as if you've painted it. No, absolutely it? not. It just needs to look a little bit sort of aged, and within a minute, it's almost <laughs> gonna, like a rag roll. We thing. are going to get these tea bags off. It's going to dry. I'm going to use another tea bag. It's going to dry amazingly quickly. Um, but what we'll do now is we'll wait for it to dry because then it will be ready for the next Can we stage. have a cup of tea? <laughs> we'll have a cup of tea. I put the I'll get rid of these tea leaves. <laughs> <laughs> now, with the magic of video, we have one dry board. And it is the same board, by the way. Um, what I felt was that some of the yellow, some of the tea bag was too strong. So I wiped it all off with a damp cloth, not soaking, just lightly dampened cloth. And it smoothed it out, got rid of the tea leaves um, and looks much better. It looks great. It looks good, doesn't mm. it? If you want a very, very heavy, very sepia toned finish, you'd obviously daub it on more thickly. That's not what um, I wanted though. We now have a dry board and whilst we've been waiting for it to dry, Wendy and I have been very busy cutting squares out of the paper using said Fiskars paper cutter mm. because um, if you remember from earlier, all of the photos have a border because they just seem to look better that way. Shows them off better, doesn't yeah, it? absolutely. Okie doke. So we're on to our family tree now. Yep, and Wendy, you know, please show us how to do it. Okie doke. Right, I'm going to pull that out because that gives you the your guideline there. And see, you pop these on there so I can. Oh, oh. I was I was going to say, Jules, that it's like a hot knife through butter. But me being a vegan, it's like a hot knife through through vegan margarine. ice cold soy margarine. Yes. 
something like that. It's very satisfying, actually. Very satisfying. And it really beats, I mean, obviously, it beats playing around with scissors and keeping on getting it wrong. Um, obviously, you can use scissors. We have a little pair of trusty Fiskal scissors here as well. If that's your preference and you don't have one of these, it doesn't preclude you from making the board, obviously. I'll keep going. Come yes. back to me in a minute. <laughs> Right, we've cut out all the photographs, all their backings. We've glued uh, the photo onto the backing, whichever glue you like, PVA, um, sort of stick glue, whatever suits you best, whatever you've got really. And now this is the fun bit. We're gonna play around with positioning them on the board. Obviously um, we're at the top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> goes without saying <laughs> and our Trevor our director is and that Andy our very brilliant cameraman is down the bottom he's not gonna lie there oh but then he's underpinning the whole shoot which is what he did true mm. you got out of that very nicely <laughs> yes. okay layout so, layout so that's I quite like it straight and nice. um, we've nice. got CB here what's that stand for? oh yeah <laughs> oh, I was very pleased to find those in our colours. They're great. How do you think they should go? I would. Because I like, I'd favour straight. I know you liked, you like. If I were doing this. It, we are, we're doing it together. Yes, but you me. see, we don't agree on the straight and the, <laughs> But if I was doing this, I'd put them sort of more like that, I suppose. I like that. I love that. More that. Yeah. If and the pictures are straight, I put those at a jaundy no, angle. At a jaundy angle is much mm. better. And obviously, because you might change your mind, the best thing is to play around before you glue anything onto the board. So, for instance, you mean these? Yes. You just think, well, I might put one there. Or... Not purple. I don't do purple oh wind. So, I don't do purple. But it's my favourite colour, no, and I thought no. we were so close. We're sticking, we're sticking to blues and greens because oh. then it'll have a harmony. Not this red. <laughs> my mind about you yeah. <laughs> okay no, none of my favorite Make a colors star. Are going in a here star. <laughs> oh put the star by me okay i have put the star by you oh that's She's very appropriate so, so tricky put that so old tricky. button I by you with. <laughs> <laughs> i might actually that's not a bad idea <laughs> you see you, you just play around with all oh i'm loving the button i love the button actually i'm gonna put the button by trev no that's looks nice, though, that looks nice that looks nice that looks nice I'm loving that. I'm loving that, Wendy. Yeah. Actually, I really like that. It's done. It's done. Let's glue it. Let's glue it. Okay. Final <laughs> dob of glue oh, and reveal. I think that looks great. It's not bad, is it? What's really, it. What's, what I think works is that we've kept the Crafty Beggars colours. We've got a little Crafty Beggars card sneakily mm. in there. And we've just sort of embellished it in the same colour scheme. Yeah. And it doesn't doesn't look bad. So if you sort of want to call it a family board, a memory board, whatever you like, whatever family you like. wall art, um, no. and yes, just exactly let your imagination run wild. Have a mad Ooh. march. 